All right, we're gonna take a look at adding fractions with like denominators. But what happens when they throw in that trick and the numerator comes out larger than the denominator? Well, let's take a look at an example. Here we have 5 eighths plus 7 eighths. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our denominators are the same. They are both eighths. So if you could imagine this like two pizzas, all right, cut into eight equal slices and one person has five left over and the other person has seven left over. When you combine them all together, how much do you have left over? When adding these fractions, the numerators, we will find the sum of the numerators. Five plus seven. And the denominator, we're still talking about the same size pieces. So it will remain the same. Each piece is still cut into eight equal slices. 5 plus 7, then, I find the sum of this and write that out as 12 over 8. All right? Now, I can't stop here because I noticed that 12 over 8 is actually an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So I either need to simplify it or at least change it into a mixed number. I'm going to simplify it first. I'm going to divide this by a common denominator. I can see they're both uh, divisible by 2 because they're even numbers, um, but I quickly noticed that the greatest common factor is 4. So I will divide the top number by 4 and the bottom number by 4. Now 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Now I'm down to 3 halves. When I convert this into a mixed number, I can either think of it as 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2 and know that this is one whole. Or you can do a division problem in which you take 3 divided by 2. I'm going to do the division method. 3 divided by 2. 2 goes into 3 one time, and when I subtract, I have 1 left over. This then becomes my numerator, and this is the number of parts that it's divided into. So that is my denominator. So I have 1 and 1 half is the same as 3 halves. Let's take a look at the actual picture model. Here you can see I drew two pictures of pizzas. All right, each pizza is divided into eight equal slices. The first one has one, two, three, four, five, or five out of eight, five eighths. Plus the second one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The exact same problem, five eighths plus seven eighths. Now, if I were to kind of get the pizza all together in one, the first thing we would probably do is move the slices over. So I'm going to take one of these slices over here, my green slice, from my buddy's pan, and I'm going to put it into my pan. But what happens? My pan's completely full. Well, we're going to need a whole other pan or a box to put the other pizza in. So I'm going to draw another pizza the exact same size and the same number of pieces. I have now eight equal parts. So now I can transfer over my other slices of pizza. I will transfer one more here as I erase it from the other pan. And one more as I erase it from the other pan. And one more as I erase it from the other pan. And one more. Now, as I look at this, I can see that I have one hole, or eight eighths, and I have one, two, three, four eighths left. I could also look at this as the pizza is divided into two 
equal halves. So I have half of the pizza left here and a whole pizza here, which would be like your simplified version, one and one half. Well, I hope this helped you out. See you.